Now for this one, we use a photo. It can be any photo. In this case, I'm using a photo of my old family dog. The spectator is allowed to put their signature on it, just in case they think it's switched or something. It's then folded, like this, and torn to pieces. Four pieces with their signature, still in view. And the idea then is to try to make the pieces go back together somehow. And that looks like this. See the pieces there? But when you go up like this, when you go up like this, the pieces always go back together into one piece. This really is one photo now. They really are back together. I haven't just stuffed them with glue or anything. But you can see that the edges are torn. That's because this is a bit different. You actually put the pieces back together in a completely different order. And this is then given to the spectator and they're allowed to keep it and it will never fall apart. If I rub it here, and if I rub it here, the pieces always go back together like that. Oh, wow. oh wow. That's amazing. But wait, wait. Look how the edges are still torn. So the next trick is one of my all-time favourites. It uses a borrowed coin, the spectator writes their name on the coin, the coin is then rubbed on the spectator's hand, and as you can see, the coin slowly starts to melt. I'll come a bit closer so you can see that. And the spectators actually feel this happening. And remember, it's their coin. then given to the spectators to keep forevermore, not to be used in parking meters. And can you make sure it's permanent ink? Permanent ink is okay. It's going to start to feel like it melts. Can you feel it going? Or keep it set right here. <laughs> it's nice. Next is an effect that I learned when I was maybe 14 years old. It's a very old trick, but it never failed to get good responses. It uses two regular rubber bands. These are, of course, examined by the spectator. They are real rubber bands. You'll have to trust me on that, but they are. They are linked together. Now you both have a front row seat. You can see from all angles that they really are linked. Yeah? Even if I wanted to, they wouldn't go over the tips of the fingers. But watch, one at a time. One, two, three, four. It's very easy, really. All you do is you break them apart like that, and then they join back together. That's how that one works. Keep those, there you go. <laughs> The next trick doesn't work so well on the camera, but you're going to get a chance to... <laughs> well, you get the idea. We have one, two, three, four cards. If I shake, you know what happens? The spiders came. Yeah. Look, look, one, two, three, four spider webs. You know how we get rid of the spider webs? Yeah. Wave your hand over like this. Wave your hand over. No, this one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that trick. I love it. I feel terrible and I'm probably going to hell, but it's great fun every time. Now, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Next week we're coming back, hopefully with a new format. I'm working on a few new ideas. If you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them in the box below. I'm always trying to improve the show and make it as entertaining as possible. So I'll see you next Thursday.